on Instagram. Give me a holler. Here we have Aaron Norden coming out into this uh, featherweight bout. Steve, what weight with division were you the champion of? I've forgotten. Heavyweight. Lightweight. Lightweight, oh, yep. not featherweight. Not featherweight. <laughs> Sam won the featherweight crown that time. Ah, uh, that's so Even though he only weighed 135 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> now, Vinny, as he's known, the Vinnyman, Vinny, is uh, the. Vitamin Vinny? Vitamin Vinny, not Vitamin Vinny, just Vinny. Ah. He doesn't like, you know, like Vinny. Yeah. He just likes to be called Vinny the Jizzle. Vinny. But he is uh, <laughs> taking on Eric Norton. And, uh,. Eric Norton representing Evolve Academy he competes in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He just did the beginner slash intermediate uh, Ferris sub only competition out there where he went to the absolute and got a silver. Oh, wow. I think beating out about 16 people. So uh, very impressive. Um, the issue for him, he's very short, Steve. You can uh, possibly speak to this, but. <laughs> it's a difficult life. It is a difficult life. For the weight division, he's pretty short. And he's, but he is a southpaw. And he's got incredibly fast footwork in and out, closing that distance. And uh, he's very excited to watch. Well, the best, best featherweight in the world is five foot five. He's only a couple inches shy of that, I guess. This is true. And uh, yeah, he lost out on uh, Ballerina Birmingham. There's a very, very close, controversial split decision um, where I actually had Eric winning it. <laughs> Vinny from BST, and you know when BST are in the house, they're trying to they're trying to ruin everybody's party. Yeah, and uh, I was watching his fight where he beat uh, Clearwater Taylor of Ballerina Wolverhampton, and uh, huge, huge ground and pound in that fight. Uh, also, incredible takedowns, and then his he was so dangerous from uh, top half. That was his spot. He just sat in top half, which is in quite a lot tonight, and just rained down huge, huge shots. And I mean, what a corner he's walking out with as well there. You've got Danny Ban, for uh, Cage Warrior Champion, Raymond Paul, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt, and I think that's also his boxing coach in his corner. And uh, what a team they are. They've put together so many incredible fighters here on Battle Arena and Cage Warrior Champions as well. And Bama fighters. They've got the UFC fighters here? Probably. Modestus was. Modestus, yeah, Modestus, that's true. I got the role with Modestus once. He was very good. He was quite strong. <laughs> no way. Yeah. He, uh, they've got such a world-class training facility, world-class coaches, yep. world-class experience on that. I'm so interested in the height difference. It's a, it's a winning situation. Yeah, how will that height, height difference? Yeah. I mean, Vinny's not the tallest in this weight division. Definitely not, but I think uh, Eric's probably unusually short for the weight division. But that's the thing. You can be stocky and get the takedown. Be da more dangerous on the inside. Like, I'm a very tall fighter, and I, when someone's on my toes in that dirty boxing ring, it's a nightmare. Because they, they're more comfortable there, the arms fit there, they can shoot for a double and get under me super easily. Also, and can you punch down? Can yes, you, can you can punch you, down? And, yeah. that's, and that's hard to do. You see a lot of a lot of taller fighters laid their stances longer and drop their shoulder to be in line horizontally with their opponents despite the height, because that allows them to use their range. So. Um, I will say about BST, Steve, they've, they've come to some battle arenas. I don't think they have as many fighters tonight, but Occasionally they've come with six or seven of their fighters and come away with six or seven wins. They're just that good a gym. I, th I think even on square footage, I think they're about the biggest gym in Europe. And then on success rate and a number of incredibly high quality fighters turned out, they're probably about there as the best gym in Europe. Or certainly top two or three. And um, all under the tutelage there of Danny Batten and uh, Raymond Paul. And uh, when the Fisticuffs podcast, uh, short as well. Fisty Cuffs is doing a bit of a tour of the UK, doing open mats. He'll be in uh, Abingdon next Sunday. Is that it?
Eric Norden in the blue and black shorts and Vinny in the white and red. And Mr. Alan Jackson is our referee. Let's see, the, see that is a serious height difference, Steve. And we're talking six inches, maybe. Don't do it. Close the distance. Close the distance. Oh, slip early and a roll from Eric. Right off. Right off the bat. Yeah. Not having that grip on the feet. That's why you see GSP spit a bit of water on the ground and slide it over his feet back in the day. Yeah. Help you grip the feet up. A little bit extra friction. And that all makes a difference, those little routines. Okay, moving well. Oh, lovely head movement by Eric. Eric doing just what you were saying, Chris, trying to move forward, stay on that top toe. Yeah, Norden's not being backed up too much. He's taking a moment to step back when he needs to, but then immediately coming and keeping that range tight. There's a nice wrapping kick there from Vinny. What I saw in Norden's previous fights, he would kind of circle to his left a lot, which meant he was circling towards the power of the orthodox fighter, but not as much this time. It's a little adjustment he's made. He's got a lot of head movement up the middle. That's why I was waiting to see from Vinny. Yeah. He was going to throw the kick. Norden's doing a good job of keeping his foot on the outside. That is the battle normally when you get a southpaw versus orthodox fighter is the outside foot position. Lovely kick by Norden in combination. Vinny just with a little sharp counters. Oh, lovely right. Off the gloves. Right hand sneaks through. Still, re there's redness on the face of Norden already. Danny Batten in Vinny's corner just calling for straight shots and that's what you got to do when you fight someone who's a little bit shorter than you. Lovely jab lands for Vinny. Oh, it's almost like Eric faked the shot there Steve and came over. Another slip. What was Norden doing backstage? Was lubricating his feet. <laughs> Norden stood orthodox there and looked like he's ready to spin. Just for a moment. You see what I mean, Steve? Norden does circle towards Vinny's power quite a lot, which is unusual for a southpaw. Normally they're always Steady. going to their right. A lovely slip. It's just some of this stuff doesn't have any conviction on it from Norden. Whereas everything from Vinny is crisp, it's well thought out. It's totally oh, lovely cool. right from Norden. Later, said about the conviction, Steve. Vinny's going to eat that with no problem. Yeah. Just want to see Norton staying in his stance. Oh, he's a jab. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rolls his head, though, with it. Uh, didn't take the full power of it. This is what evolution we've seen here at Battle. You know, the, over the few fights we've seen of Vinny is just the, it's this it's staying long, it's staying composed, calm, listening to his coach. Kind of, oh, like a, a slightly desperate attempt, but. I don't think that's the key to this victory, really, but it was a nice way of driving it back and getting it out. It's been pretty close. I mean, if Norden could have finished that takedown, it could have maybe stolen the round, but... Oh, lovely right for Vinny. J Vinny looks like he's sparring and then just on every third shot, just digging it a little bit. And uh, that's what you want to see from a fighter as a coach as well. It's just, he looks so comfortable in there. And his boxing coach coming in there, going to be telling him, there's tiny adjustments to make. And you drop that right hand right down the middle at the end of that first round. So Vinny's obviously found it. He's got the range now. But Eric Norden is over there at the uh, Evolve Academy. His teammate, uh, Oliveira. His, his best work is, is coming up on angles, really kind yep. of dipping, bobbing and weaving and coming up and trying to sit onto a punch. If he does shift, he might be able to do that quite well. He just has to shift in correctly. Yeah, I wonder, if, I wonder if Eric could drop a weight division, but I mean, he is pretty stocky for this weight division. And, uh, one of the issues is you, you fight someone from BST, they've got such great coaches there, they're going to be coaching their fight, not just on the fighting, but how to how to make weight comfortably, safely, how to be as big as possible in that division. Here we go. Norden versus Finney. Oh. Norden looking for that fake shot to uh, overhand left again. Oh, eats a big right from Vinny. Yeah, you see there's, there's not a lot of anxiety here from Vinny. It's not like he's trying to knock, it, knock him out of the park right now or yeah. take him down and finish him with a submission. He's just happy to kickbox here. It's almost like Vinny's just slowly figuring out his timing and he's just going to choose his moment 
what he's got Nordu figured out to then to sit down with punches. That was a nice right uppercut to kind of defer Norden from ducking his head so much. Not even, not seeing a huge amount of kicks from Vinny either. It's just sticking with really nice fundamental boxing. Staying long, getting behind his jab. Norden a lot more creative, switching stance, blasting in and out. You know, kind of more complex what he's doing, but it's just not working. Or not working as well. Just not landing anything cleanly. But he's always moving away, his hands are up. He's deflecting punches, redirecting them, and then landing his own. Just out the right hand again. Uh, that was well read by Norden to move yeah. out of the way. He's got his head offline. Come back with a counter. Oh, lovely. Now Nord Norden's got a little bit of the timing down. Chopped oh. to the leg there. It's, a, it's slightly kind of that Neo footwork that Norden's got, got going on. Ran in behind that left hand there. That was good. Oh. Now he's in on the single. The timing was great, but look how quick that sprawl was from Vinny. Throw a lot of kicks when we do. Oh, that seems up. Oh, stumbles. Oh, lovely right hand. This is that Nord is just circling the wrong way too much, Steve. Yeah, he comes up again. At all the big moments again are Vinny's, right? The, the right hand, there <laughs> you go, stepping in on that right uppercut. That was lovely because he, you know, he's throwing seven or eight big straight right or lead rights, and then all of a sudden just switched it to that uppercut. Just when you think you've got his timing, just when you think he's got patterns, he mixes it up. Eric's just always a little bit short. Don't mean to insult him. He's short with the punches. It's so hard to take any out anyone from BST. Wrestling defense. Ten seconds left. Danny Batten calling for a strong finish to the round. It's smart as well. You want the, you want the last moment of the round to be your fighter looking good, winning. Yeah. Making sure you get the, if Still this goes the active. distance, get the decision. Very active from Eric Norton. Seems to be very, very happy in the corner of Norton. Maybe just quite happy to be here still. Still playing the game. <laughs> landing shots. He's definitely landing. I think he landed a bit less than the first round. I will say that. I think uh, Vinny is just got the timing down a little bit more he's staying that little bit longer not getting drawn into a firefight and, uh, that's what you want from your fighter as well there's so many fighters become fighters because they love fighting which is great but really you can't be the kind of person that gets drawn into a brawl in this game it's, it's a at this level with these skilled fighters it's a battle of like inches centimeters of just slipping shots staying sensible and Vinny's doing that, he's just the consummate professional in this cage today. Always back in his stance, always ready to fire something back and stay in his position. We've got to be thinking about Vinny for a title fight, I think, in the future. Definitely. I'm not as, long as, as long as he goes through this without getting KO'd, <laughs> and then <laughs> just get walking onto something, which could always happen. I yeah. like that he's, got, he's firing those lead right hands. He's happy to do that. Yeah, I could see Eric. If Eric's corner is being honest with him, and then look, you're possibly a couple of rounds down. Let's be aggressive. Let's. You're the shorter fight here. We've got to close the distance. We've got to just go forward, walk through the fire. This could really change things. Those chopping Shining kicks are shoots. Nice. Yeah. Those chopping kicks are very nice, especially those firing those low into the calf. Yeah. A lovely left, right from Vinny. Nice and simple. Norden always his hands up. Always in a good position ready to blitz forward we got kick on the end of his combinations like that chopping that leg in this last round that leg is red it's moving a bit stiffly as well so there's some damage there to the lead leg of Vinny yeah he's always he's definitely not flat footed because there's moments where he moves incredibly quickly but he does plant his weight quite a lot throws off that right hand yeah it'd be nice to see him yeah there we go throw up that head kick a couple more times yeah we'll check some of these kicks don't we you know for the future battle arena opponents watching this video right now on youtube we're going to be thinking about Vinny's leg 
Is that his vulnerability? Is that the chink in the BST armor and coming forward? And getting him come back, getting him moving backwards and kicking off the, at the end of your combination there. You get him moving back. Because you're going to be watching this and you're going to go, you don't want to box with him. Don't want to wrestle with him. Where's the where's the weakness? It doesn't kick much. That's a nice left hand. Norden, so aggressive in this third round. He's not out of this fight. This is great though. A great you know, minute and 45 at the very beginning of this round. He just keeps throwing this Norden. Maybe he doesn't have respect for the power of Vinny. Maybe he feels like he's tasted it all. But man, he is throwing a lot of nice chopping kicks at the end of those combinations. Yeah, it's almost like he needed this in the first round. Yeah, shot time. that leg, slow Vinny down. Oh, lovely body shot, headshot combination. Vinny comes back with shots of his own. If they miss, Norton's out of the way. I mean, there's a good argument. Norton's winning this third round. Yeah. Oh, Vinny with a lovely his, jab. Turned his head off that. Yeah. 37 seconds in this third and final round. Oh, there's another right hand landed for... Or left hand landed for Norton. Pardon me. Oh, left again for Norton. You gotta admire the heart of Norton, the determination of the gas tank. Still coming forward, he needs to come forward more with those left hands. Yeah, and he needs to fight like this in the first two rounds. Support stumbling. Vinny goes high. Norton goes again, it's 10 seconds. Oh, through a kick. Slips again. Going high with a kick, isn't it? Oh, he's good on the hairline there of Norton. What a final, off. What a final Whoa. 10 seconds. Back and forth, Insane. back and forth, back and forth. That was cool. That was that's all a fight, out there. best fight so far. All out there. Norton's pretty happy with his performance. Vinny's got to be happy with his first two rounds, but having that guy in your face the whole time—that was brutal. That third round was absolutely exceptional for Norton. You know, that's a shorter fighter, less skilled gym. And he comes through, and he's he starting to find a little bit of the chink in the armor to use your words there Chris that's definitely going to be a candidate for a fight of the night at the end of the evening what an absolutely brilliant fight it's definitely so far the round of the evening yeah those last 10 seconds I think me and you we, we kind of shut up we were just enjoying it I was like oh <laughs> see what happens next Eric still bouncing around not too tired Vinny love excellent it. performance very good we got to get Eric back on, on oh I love Eric arena. please please calling it out right now Eric Norton the mighty gnome Eric Norton